Hi, I'm Mark Precario, creator of Tone Shield. This is a Tone Shield stored in its base. I keep my Tone Shield in the back of my amplifier. It'll fit in almost all open back cabs or amplifiers. To set it up, you take it out of the base by releasing the band. The base is made out of wood and it has feet on it. The Tone Shield itself is made up of four acrylic panels, six millimeter in thickness. Each panel is machined to accept this hinge that has 10 screws in each hinge attaching them to the panels. This is very, very durable, as you can see. To set it up, place it on the floor, slide the bottom of the tone shield into the base with the point facing, which would be the speaker, which would be here. Today we're going to try to demonstrate for you what the tone shield does. We're going to demonstrate using this cabinet, which has a Celestian Neo Creamback 112 speaker. Into that, we're going to run through my Mesa Boogie TA-15 transatlantic head. The head is set on the tweed setting with the bass and the treble set at 12 o'clock. The gain is set at around 1030 and the master volume is set around 4 o'clock. It doesn't have much gain at this setting. So what we're going to do is we're going to run into that from my pedal board and on my pedal board I have a Keeley Tone workstation, and the only thing that's on is the Katana Boost just past 12 o'clock, and on the Super Mod workstation by Keeley, I'm running a little bit of reverb, and I'm running from this RC1 Boss Loop Station. I recorded a loop on here earlier through my Eastman, and on my Eastman I have it in the middle position, so it's using both pickups, and the volume of both pickups is around six, and the tone is maxed out. I recorded it earlier a piece by Duke Ellington called Solitude. The arrangement was by John Harrington. So what we're going to do is we're going to start without the tone shield in place. We have a microphone placed here. This is about 10 feet from the speaker, maybe a little bit less. And we're using a Loudon SA220 condenser microphone. We're running into an XR18 as the interface into the computer, and we're recording on Audacity. There are no compressors, no gates, and no EQ of any kind going between the microphone and the computer. The only thing you might affect that you might get is the preamp of the mixer. So we're going to start this thing off. First, we've got to turn this off of standby. We'll start recording.
Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope that you could hear the difference that we could hear in the room. The biggest difference is without the tone shield, the tone over here is a lot bassier. And as you move over to here, it has a lot more high end. So it's not very balanced. So from there to here, the, the balance is much different. When you put the tone shield in place, the balance between there and here is almost identical. So if you have any questions, hit me up on toneshield.com. Thanks for watching.